the story of buddha's life is very important for those who believe in living a peaceful life but some people try to take undue advantage of their calm nature to understand the story watch till the end once upon a time gautam buddha was sitting with his disciples at the same king ajatshatru reached there and asked to buddha o oh lord ever since i became your follower everyone is exploiting me they are taking undue advantage of my calmness before i became your follower everyone was afraid of me because i was very cruel i would not think twice to punish anyone to death sentence but after becoming your follower i do not feel like punishing anyone nor do i get angry i have become peaceful and i look at everyone with compassion but some people are taking undue advantage of my calm conduct this has also put the people of my country in some kind of danger due to this i am facing a lot of problems in the governance of my country please tell me what should i do now hearing this from king ajatshatru buddha tells him a story and the story goes like this once there lived a venomous snake in a hole under a large tree the tree stood in a corner of a field near a village the snake attacked people at even the slightest provocation and many people died because of the snake's deadly bite people were afraid to go near the tree due to fear of snake one day a monk was passing through the village and saw this beautiful tree he decided to meditate under its shade before he moved on some villagers who were driving their cows back home saw the monk and warned him about the snake they told him that this snake is so dangerous that whoever goes near him he bites him the monk smiled and continued to walk towards the tree the villagers left from there as the monk sat down to meditate the snake came out from his hole with an angry hiss and ready to bite the monk chanted a mantra looking straight into the snake's eyes and miraculously snake starts conversation with him the snake says to that monk that oh man don't you fear me don't you know that this is my area and no one dares to come here the monk said with a compassion my dear friend what is there to fear in this i am not afraid of anything i do not fear death nor do i desire to live why should i fear you in fact you are afraid that no one should kill you that's why you bite others the snake was astonished to hear this from the monk till now he had met only such people who tried to kill him or ran away in fear of him but he had never met a person who would not fear him hearing this the snake wraps itself at the feet of the monk and said o oh lord you are right whatever i have done till today i have done to save my life if i don't do this people would kill me the monk said you are right but my dear friend remember one thing 
that life will end one day therefore it is not appropriate to kill others to save it give up this attachment of your life and be filled with love for others after saying this the monk left from there snake was influenced by the words of the monk and he decided that from today onwards he will not bite anyone he gives up his angry nature and stops biting others but the result of it turns out to be the opposite when people saw that the snake had stopped biting others now they started taking undue advantage of this those who used to fear him and run away from him now started catching him now people would tease him scratch him and hurt him now snake was always wounded and hurt he was very sad he was having the hardest time of his life one day that monk once again came to that village and sat under the same tree just then he saw that snake he was very surprised to see him in such a pathetic state he asked him oh my friend how did you get in such a pathetic condition who has injured you the snake replied oh bless one you told me to give up my angry nature and not to bite others ever since i left my violent nature and adopted peace since then people have started misbehaving with me now no one is afraid of me people come hurt me and leave me in miserable condition life has become very difficult for me hearing this from the snake the monk said my dear friend it seems that you have misinterpreted my sermon i told you not to bite others unnecessarily but i did not stop you from hissing for your self defense after telling this story to king ajatshatru buddha asked him king what have you understood from this story are you taking my sermon in the wrong way like that snake did i told you to give up your cruel nature but not to give up the duty of the king you have to fulfill your duty to be a king by being tough from outside so that you can discipline everyone in your kingdom you have to maintain the process of justice in your state by being tough oh that people can live peacefully in your kingdom and they don't feel any kind of insecurity therefore you have to rule like a monk from inside and like a king from outside if we see in the world around us we will find that this often happens to good people people often try to take undue advantage of the decency of decent ones and because of this those who are good have to face many difficulties in their life such gentlemen people should learn from the story of buddha they need to understand that sometimes people starts to exploit your goodness they try to take undue advantage of your decency to keep such people within their limits you have to behave according to the situation if you have to get angry to keep things in discipline then you should do it you can do it without disturbing your inner peace of mind like an actor is who is acting to be an angry in a play but from inside he is not angry because he knows that it is just a part of the play similarly you have to behave smartly in this world to keep thing in control this is the art of living and if you can learn this art then no one can stop you from living a successful and peaceful life thanks for watching